Hey guys, how's it going? Paul like the boss. And I'm bringing you guys on gameplay slash commentary on Black Ops 2. So first of all, thank you guys for watching. Um I'm Paul like a boss and I would like to thank Black Ops 2 Tips for letting me be featured on the channel. You know it's real nice of them. How about you guys give them a like for their epicness and their overall friendliness? So today what I brought with me is a 100 0 kill confirmed. 6v6. Yeah, you're right. Don't worry guys. 6v6 kill confirmed gameplay. I mean, I, I was just rushing with the MP7. The, the enemies, they, they knew what was going on. They saw my name. They were like, shit, it's them getting spawned. I'm gonna die. But uh, that's how I got the gameplay. And today I have a topic prepared, which is gonna be, you know, how to improve in CUD Black Ops 2 or CUD in general. For all of you who start in Modern Warfare 3 times or in Black Ops 2 times, this is gonna help you guys a lot. You know, it's gonna help you guys improve. So let's start off with probably the, the the easiest tip I can give you guys is simply knowing the game. Knowing the game, you need experience. The more experience you have, you know, the more. For example, if you run around the corner and there's an enemy waiting for you, you, you if you the more experience you have, you know, you're gonna flip for a flash and throw some C4, and you're gonna have the guy. If you're a noob and you just rush the corner, then you're just gonna die like. A, Silly loop, but you know that counts of experience. And every player, you know, if you play a certain amount of number of hours, let's say 300 hours in CUD Black Ops 2, you're gonna know the game. You're gonna know where the enemies are running from, um, the best opening routes. You know, that's just what I mean with experience. So the second thing is um, knowing your gun and knowing your playstyle, adapting your playstyle. Um, everybody plays different, and you know, some of us might play a bit more defensively. I mean, I just rush shit. That's just my habit, but some of you guys, you know, they might, uh, they might not do that well, so they might kind of, you know, stay back at the back of the map and, you know, try to get people with snipers or whatever, you know, not not a big deal, not a big deal at all, but the biggest, you know, you, you just gotta know how to, how to use the gun, you know, you gotta adapt the gun to your playstyle, I mean, I'm not gonna rush in with a full automatic fold because that's just stupid. I'd rather take an MP7, an MSMC, some new gun that I can rush real bad with, but I'm not gonna take an F and fall because I'll just have to camp so much. Not camp, but play defensive, and that's not my playing style. But if the enemies are playing def defensive, I'm sorry, then you are going to have to play defensive. You know, that's just uh, logic, that's just common sense right there. And you have to adapt your playstyle in every single game. And you'll get better and you'll do it automatically once you know the game. Like once you have reached a certain amount of hours playing the game, you're gonna know what's going on. And you will be possibly one of the best gamers, I guess. That's what you could say. You know, experience, knowing your gun, knowing how you to adapt your playstyle, that's very important. So there's not a few tips I can give you guys. Go around corners with your gun aimed down sight. A very important tip not if you're in your spawn but if you're an enemy spawn of course go around you know that the couple seconds that they you know those milliseconds they can save your life you can get a quad feed you can get a multi feed you can get whatever and you know the little things they they might decide between life and death that's the most important tip I can give you guys one of the most important tips aim down sight when you're in the enemy bait and in, in the enemy spawn and you know then there's stuff like headset um whatever a headset you know scuff gaming controller some eyewear for it. that I mean I wear just gay if anyone has our please unsub on my account I don't give a fuck but you just gay as hell you know there's so many things but those things you know they might count to you a little bit they might save you a death which was unnecessary and you might get that because you're scuff gaming controller because you astros because you can hear them but a headset is very important get an astro headset they're completely good I haven't had a single problem with them in years I mean I've been using them for like two years or three years now and they're great so you know check check out astro they have some great products and I wouldn't recommend you guys any shit products so don't worry guys you can trust me I am home like a boss Okay, and then there's controllers, you know, scuff gaming controllers, uh, not necessary, you know. Then there's control freaks, I mean, that's, that's, you know, I have control freaks because my brother gave them to me for free. So they're great, you guys can use them, but it's not really necessary. But, 
then um, the most one of the most important things is not experience but map knowledge you know overall map knowledge overall game lo logic oh you know you have to know what you're doing I mean you can't just rush to spawn with an unsilenced gun I mean you could but you're just gonna go ball steep and you might die but you know you, you have to you, you're not allowed to die too much in games that's just the typical thing you are not you, you don't want to die in a you don't want to die in a game when you have a streak or just before your streak you don't want to die you want to play it a bit defensively you know think about what you're doing just don't rush it just stay stay safe let's say like that you know and be, be really careful until you get your streaks and then you can just go full ape shit and pull shit that no one has ever pulled and just kill people so quick they don't even know what's going on so that's just some very important basic tips and then there's another one you know knowing the map is a great advantage if you're a bad player or if you're a middle player or even if you're a good player knowing the map is always it's the best tip I can give you guys you know staying behind cover because someone could flank you from the side or from behind staying behind cover um, knowing how to kill two or three people if you're going out if you're going against two or three people um, having the right class loadout, you know everything. But you're going to see. Watch the kill cams. Watch how you die. Watch why you die. How you could have avoided this stuff. You know, everyone just presses X to go on. But in my first COD, I actually watched nearly all the kill cams. Not because I'm a noob. Okay, well I was a noob there, but because I wanted to improve. And then watch YouTube videos. Watch Black Ops 2. Watch my videos. Do whatever. You know, you there's just so many ways to improve. And you can see that and more tips and tricks on my channel. So how about you go press the link in the description down below and visit my channel. Give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, favorite this video, share it with Twitter, Facebook, Social Blade, whatever. But see you guys. I hope you guys like this commentary. Peace out, guys.